Maybe serious. it's comedy. Maybe it's a it's joke. <laughs> like, I got you. All right, <laughs> let's move on already. Tad Jackson slams Chris Rock for comparing Michael Jackson to R. Kelly. <sighs> Michael Jackson's nephew, Tad Jackson, is speaking out against comedian Chris Rock on the heels of his recent Netflix special, Selective Outrage, as is specifically accusing the comedian of launching decades of harassment against the family. During the comedy special, Chris Rock had a lot to say about Meghan Markle, Will Smith, and many more. He also made a joke comparing Michael Jackson to R. Kelly, and that didn't sit well with the late King of Pop's nephew. While addressing his audience, Chris said, The thing I have a problem with is selective outrage. He went on to explain what he meant by his term, noting that it's when people give one person a pass for something that they condemned someone else for. He then offered an example, noting that the term applies to the king of kind of person who plays Michael Jackson songs but won't play R. Kelly. Chris Rock then went on to add, same crime, one of them just got better songs. Reacting to that statement, Sir Jackson tweeted, Chris Rock has used my family as punching bags for his entire career. Yet, I am supposed to feel bad for him, getting slapped and humiliated on the Oscars. Uh, the three T member added, after seeing a new clip of him attacking my dead uncle on the first minute, in the first minute of his retaliation, I am still relevant <laughs> special. I have three things to say. He continued, one, what did my family ever do to you to warrant these decades of harassment and your constant bullying disguised as jokes? Two, just because you were bullied early on in life doesn't give you the excuse to bully others. Three, thank you, Will Smith. <laughs> Ty Jackson wasn't the only one who was upset by Chris Rock's comparing Michael Jackson to R. Kelly as various people at their grievances via social media. If you'll recall, a jury acquitted Michael Jackson of child molestation charges in 2005. R. Kelly, on the other hand, was found guilty of sex trafficking and child pornography charges in two different jurisdictions between 2021 and 2022. So I've not had the time to watch the full, but I've been just been seeing a little bit, and that's how he started his own that's comedy special, give it to Michael Jackson. As regards that thing that we say that, oh, because this person is cancelled, you don't play Michael Jackson song, you don't play R. Kelly song, yeah. But he now said, oh, you've cancelled both of but why are you people playing? Michael Jackson's song and not playing R. Kelly's song. I thought they committed the same crime and people were like, people just laughed in the crowd. And I'm like, what is really wrong with Chris Rock? Um, they never... So, so, Michael Jackson was never yes, found guilty. Was he? He wasn't. So I, I feel like... And this it, person is late. Yeah, exactly. Which is, is it's, it's, it's a bad taste to the mouth. You know, he lives People a place in, in the honor of the person who is a legend. I mean, everybody, we are still following our Kelly's case and all that. He's getting the judgment yeah. that he, he probably deserves mm -hmm. because we've seen everybody have come to testify against him. We've seen everything that has played out. Um, this is bad because I think he's putting himself, he, he puts himself on that platform where everybody now has, they don't even regard him anymore. In a so sense, still do. because he put himself on that platform. Um, now everybody are justifying the fact that That's Will Smith nice, nice one. slapped him. Like, nice, nice one. one. Um, was uh, one of the Wayan brothers um, also made a joke about him and said, when they slapped you, you didn't do anything. But it's afterwards, even when the guy turned back and was leaving the stage, you still didn't do anything yeah. because he used the French word again. He said, because you're just... Are you serious? Yeah. Wayan's brother? Yeah, it's, it's on Netflix as well. But now you're coming after how many months and you're coming on stage to come and use it to make okay, money. Yeah. You know, at the end of the day. So, um, yes, artists, comedians, they do a lot of things in, you know, going against people, using people's problems and talking. So first things first, all these comedians, what they usually do is they will first insult themselves. <laughs> before, they get, before they start to insult yeah. you so that you know that they've insulted themselves. But we don't even take this guy seriously anymore because everything at the end of the day is just clout for him because this is michael so, jackson yeah it's, it's, it's a tough job for comedians right now where do you draw the line with the jokes you make all right so i have not actually said anything on air concerning this i we, we even need to go you. deeper tomorrow yes so I, I really disagree with you that nobody takes chris rock seriously any mm. longer 
I would say that there are so many issues that people actually gossip about, they don't talk about, mm. and then these comedians take it the, uh, the horn by the bull and they come out to say stuff. I think you should watch everything. That is, you, should, you shouldn't watch in bits. And you shouldn't no. listen to what people the are full, saying. The full set of Michael Jackson I watched. The full set of Meghan Markle I watched. The full set of Will Smith I watched. Why, why I won't watch any of that thing again? It's okay. Do you think he was I mean, right? Fair enough. He's a top you, trash you, now. You, you no, it's okay. I actually feel that uh, the comedy special yeah. was um, brilliant. Um, I think that it is um, a brilliant one. I think that, um, you know, I mean, I said kudos to Chris Rock. I love the name. I, I, Selective I, I, yes, because Very that is crazy. what people are actually doing in the real sense of it. Especially with the fact that when people talk about Mega Marco, I watch the whole thing and then they say stuff like, oh, because you think you that some people it. are actually untouchable. What did he say? He was talking about how he is, she is married to a royal family and you know that this thing is an in-law thing and that when blacks even have their own children, they check the back of the ear to see how dark it is or how dark the child will be. I mean, what's the light in that? So I, I say that a lot of people Jackson even... Guilty. Okay, so can I have my floor? You will not, you will not have this floor. <laughs> no, can I have my floor? You will not have I mean, I didn't say anything when you people were talking. And so you say stuff like, um, because he did not do anything at that point and then a year after he's doing stuff. And I'm asking again, what is that respect you people have for how people feel? Are you in their shoes? Will you allow them to react any time they deem fit to react? So what is that thing of you trying to control people and having that selective outrage at the end of the day? All right, so he does not want to punch somebody in the back. face or back. <laughs> and then it's a problem. It's a problem for what people. Did he, what did he do and at then, first? And this is the reason he's having this comedy special because you people are still talking about it's making jest of an adult as such that, oh, they slapped you. Because this is it. And I think that, you know, it's brilliant and smart in the sense that it... Did was, it, it paid, did, was, did, it paid, was it paid did it see Will Smith? million dollars at the oh. end of the day? Did he walk away with his money? Okay. So we're going to sit down here so that's why, and that's, start that's talking that's, that's, that's why I said it on the show. It that I blame Will Smith for going Oscars? all emotional in is one it, video and saying, oh, no, 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 Will Smith can't be like so, a footballer now. The, the, the thing is... I slap him, I slap him. He did mad me. He abused my wife. He did crazy me. Make like everything on an adulterous wife. <laughs> See, I don't no, 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 all because of an adulterous wife. I mean, yeah. See, nobody's I slap taking on my nobody, slap because nobody, Will Smith is not a joke. Nobody is taking that away from Will Smith. In fact, when this thing first happened, the media, everybody was against Will Smith. Yeah. He has suffered the backlash. Yes. They have cancelled him from Oscar yes. for years. Like he has suffered. He, ha he he keeps coming out to apologize to to reach out to say, Did oh, Chris I'm Rock sorry. Say he didn't say anything, right? But Chris Rock didn't everything. say anything. He just kept mute. Mm -hmm. He kept canceling his own shows. He kept doing all that stuff. But now we're saying he put himself on that platter of these attacks now that he's received. So, he put yeah, himself so, there. No, so he's not complaining to anybody. That is his work. Okay. And if you like, you can dissect it and the say part, anything you want to where, say about it. The part him. where Chris Rock talked about, he watched Emancipation and what he enjoyed about the movie was when they were beating Will Smith. So that means you don't know what you joke know, you, is. That was a joke. Oh, He's an actor. So do you think that he doesn't know that that was not there's real? There's always a line. No, so you don't know that he, does, he knows that so that was not real. No thin line again, Abby. There's so always a know. line. You don't know slavery. right now. You're joking with slavery. A white man honest. is beating a black man and you're happy. <laughs> Please, this is what <laughs> the title is. Selective outrage. And that is what these people are practicing. You uh -oh. can say anything you want to say. Chris Rock is Chris Rock. You can say that oh, people don't respect him again. Well, that is your own take. I respect Chris Rock. It's okay. It's and okay. congratulations to him special. on that it's special. It was a brilliant one. And he was very smart about it. I mean, it's a week to Oscars for crying out loud. What do you think about that? Okay, we are going to need an East Flash special for this one. Maybe we invite uh, Chris Rock. Uh -uh. It should not right. hear you. <laughs> <laughs> now, 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 who are you again? Ah. Do you know my uncle? It is time. It is time. Let me suggest to me.